What up, and it's Josh, your boy IBS Kelso coming back with another MX Bikes banger. In today's video, we have a track review on one of the new Supercross series happening in November by the Oceana Racing League by Dusty Ranga. He was able to partner up with one of my closest friends, Panda, aka Patron, as you guys know him, and he has been absolutely working his butt off on making Supercross tracks. This is going to be a series with paid only for a dollar on the MX Bike Shop. I believe you hit that season pass for only four dollars. You get one track free in this five track series be sure to head over there and hit that let's get right into the track review hit that like button subscribe button baby now i don't really do track reviews but i had to do one for my boy panda um, for the oce series that's coming up in november i mean huge shout out for panda being able to collab and literally do this series with them if you guys don't know who panda aka patron he did all this kelso cup series tracks um, especially when Baked had to go away. Uh, he really stepped up and uh, filled the position. And to see where his tracks came from then to now, I mean, dude, this guy's absolutely killing it. Uh, this series will be paid. It is a dollar on the shop. Um, if you do their season pass, you literally get, for, I think it's $4, you literally get one track for free. So they're only doing five tracks in the series. And they're doing Tuesdays and Thursdays. Now, they, I remember the OCE always doing their times more or less for just the Australian time, which was butt crack of dawn <laughs> for America, which was about 4 a.m. in the morning. So I'm glad to see that they're actually trying to do a um, Australia time and a American time. Now, they said it's going to be around an aerial time event where it's like usually when people get off work, uh, school. So that's going to be actually a huge thing because uh, with that being said, now we actually as americans really get to race this series i've always wanted to do their do their uh, australian series for their tracks but just unfortunate events i'm not i can't wake up at four o'clock in the morning or i'm at work at the time so huge shout out to dusty ranger for that and thank you for allowing me to get this track early um huge shout out to panda and dusty for just hitting me up um like i said i am i'm not a huge track review guy you guys really won't see me doing these but always gotta give that contribute uh especially to the, my day one so Huge W to that. The track feels absolutely amazing. I don't know if you guys seen it. I have been riding this track for a good amount of time. I have like 30 laps on it right now. I'm kind of kicking it some good Eero. Decided to hop on the Yamaha. I have not been on the Yamaha 450 in quite some time. Um, but I'm actually super excited for the series to come out. I've always said it. Um, if you're going to be putting stuff up on shop, make sure it's either for a pro track series, a replica, and or a fantasy track series, but you're putting it into a series. Um, that's my own personal opinion. I just think if you're making one of one fantasy tracks, it's not really worth my money. Um, and you know, there's no greater value to it. But if you were to make these tracks like as Panda is doing now to where it's part of a series, you know, there's prizes, there's, there's obviously stuff that you can get into and other people are going to want to race it. I think that's where personally the shop should be at. It should be tracks that are either IRL replicas and or like that are, you know, very detailed or series for for tracks or for stuff like that but beyond that point um my only gripe and complaint is this supercross uh whoop section not the whoops in general it is the way to get into the whoops there is only one line that is definitely one line i wish it would have been more of a race line to where those bumps you literally are literally i mean literally hitting one line just to get into the whoops there's too much bumps into the middle and the the angle at it sucks. Like the only people that are gonna be able to take that line on the inside is people that are getting lapped. So they don't go into the uh, to the racer or the lead the leader's freaking way. So with that being said, like and when you get to the whoops, you you either gonna punt somebody to take that line or you're just gonna have to funnel. That's not a, a spot to pass, you know? And I wish it was I wish that would change. That's probably my only big gripe and complaint. The rest of the track is absolutely amazing. I really do love this uh, rhythm section here. I love taking this little inside middle rut to a big triple, allowing me to scrub and hit another triple. Now you can't quad to a single. I like doing the triple to a double since because it curves. And then you can take this inside as well. Now my fastest lap I've ran here was a 109, I believe. And now I'm just kind of in cruise mode, just trying different lines, kind of vibing. But as what I can tell you right now, you can see all these bumps and look how quick and crazy this turn goes. Like it's you you have to round it. You have to, to go to the outside. You are not hitting maybe you can get away with this middle rut and do it from the outside outside, but none of that inside. It's not worth it. And if you even try to cut all the way down, go far outside and cut down, you are literally becoming a hazard because now you're cutting across other people that are right behind you and you literally might take out like three people behind you. So yeah, I don't know. I to move on from that spot, I really do enjoy this spot too, to where you can triple into the corner or you can do the little double and then 
a little spot. But this right here is a little cookie cutter, just a triple onto the table with a single um, off and then a triple to a single out. Or you can do double, double, and then there. But I do like the wall jumps as well. He has actually gotten really good with his wall jumps. These things used to be super edged or sharp on the top to where it was very hard to get around his uh, up and overs, but he actually leveled them out, man. I don't know what he's doing and who he's talking to to get better. But uh, yeah, huge shout out to a lot of people. I see Gravity over here. Uh, he shout out to Slayer, uh, the Gravity team from Australia, OCE. I mean, one, thank you for literally allowing me to get this track early. Um, so I guess enough of uh, freaking trying to talk your guys' ear off. Let's actually try to set some laps off, huh? Let's talk about the track a little bit more and let's let's focus up. So off the Supercross finish, I'm gonna go far outside. Like I said, outside again to the Supercross, whoops. That's the only fast lane to get a really good run. These whoops are super big. So trying to get that good run is going to be your best friend. I like taking the outside just because trying to connect in that inside. It's a little weird spot because of how uh, far the table on, table off is. Should be able to get a good tr triple into the corner. Back onto the start straight. Now, I do want to try to hit this quad. And it's just a hard thing to try to keep the grip on your bike. So... Unfortunately, we're gonna have to come back around, but I believe you can try to hit a quad that's over this table right here. And then if you do that, you should be able to triple out or so. You, you probably find a different line to be able to triple out. But uh, the ruts feel great too. Um, all the ruts are viable, very good spots. You just gotta connect in them. Um, this right here is another gripe and complaint. There's only one rhythm spot. I'm gonna actually try something different here. I haven't even tried it. But I believe it's only a double to a triple out, right? Even if you rail this outside, I don't see yourself hitting that like trying to get that triple to a double is just not it so I definitely think the only viable line I don't even know why all those ruts are there if it is gonna be only one line to where it's a double triple um I suggest another spot so the super cross whoops and that and that spot right there just ain't it but I do enjoy this for for his for the first track of the series um, I'm very curious to see what the other tracks look like and how much more stuff I do enjoy the stadium that we're in as well this stadium's actually pretty mint, dude. I've never seen a stadium like this, so I don't know if this is a one of one You created it, who you got it from, but it's actually pretty sick. Um, and the Yamaha feels good on Supercross. I don't know why I haven't been riding this track. I used to think this this bike was just not really that good, but it's where it's at. And I also do am using a free setup over on Pro Precision's Discord, so you guys can head over there if you'd like. I'm literally just using that, and it feels really great. This inside feels good. Never mind. <laughs> Got kicked out of the rut. I think like the only thing about the Yamaha is uh, if you get a sharp turn or like this front end doesn't want to gel with what you're doing, it literally has a hard time. Like as soon as you make one little mistake, the thing is is knifing and it's going to to the pooch. But that's it. I mean that's all I have with the Yamaha. I I can't wait for the new OEM update. I think the OEM day update is going to make these tracks. I hope. Now, this would be something kind of crazy to see if this track or this series gets to be played out on the new OEM uh, bikes. That would be really cool to see. I wonder how much he's going to have to adjust or if these bikes are even going to be viable or this track's going to be viable for the new upcoming uh, <laughs> bikes. I always I always think about that. I always, like, I really do. I think about, like, right now these days where it's, like, what we're doing now, what tracks are out. Like, what is going to be viable, what's not our are pre-made ruts still gonna work or they're not? So that's a good question. I also wanna say a huge thank you to all you guys for the support lately on my mid-pack series, on just all my little bike series. I've been enjoying my races, been enjoying talking to you guys, and I'm glad that you guys keep enjoying the, all that stuff. So almost to 40,000 subs. I mean, we're gonna keep cranking out that content for sure. Been enjoying streaming over on TikTok. Um, yeah, just had to give that little thank, thank you out in this little track review since I don't really do them, and I guess it's my time to just kind of talk back to you guys. And the bike, dude, track reviews feel so good, man. It's really nice. Like, the track isn't overly, so overly sized, you know? Like, this thing does work on 250s as well. That's what I also want to talk about. So the 250 side of this is almost damn near the same one-line stuff. I mean, a little bit of a stretch for certain spots, but, like, this rhythm section, you can either do the quad to a single out, which I just don't see it being, like, more of a better option. But I'll, I guess I'll try it for you guys so you can see what happens. But I can hit the, I can hit this. The only thing is the out, out, that usually gives you a bad front hook. And then I just don't think hitting the quads with single out is faster than doing a double out. Because you get a bit better drive towards the, back to the start straight. But that's it. And then once again, super cross whoops. That's, that's my only gripe. 
Um, other than that, I'm super happy to see OCE partnered up with Panda, and I'm, I'm really happy for you, man. I hope a lot more people really take Panda under their wing and, um, you know, support the, him as a creator for tracks and keep doing it, man. I, I want to see more series. So hopefully this isn't OCE's last Supercross series or anything. I, I, I hope that they continue to get better, so... Yeah, thank you guys for watching. That's it. I mean, I don't really have much to it, dude. I'm not going to go here and ramble on for damn near 15 minutes. I don't have that much to it. Super cross track. Uh, be on the lookout. Tuesdays, Thursdays, um, OCE. Link will be down in the description below for more information to the series. And um, yeah, hit that like button, subscribe button. I greatly appreciate it. And I'll catch you guys in the absolute next one. It's your boy, IBS Kelso. Pup, pup. Pup, 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 pup. Peace. I'm like, okay.